The iconic St. Louis Gateway Arch, an engineering wonder that towers high above the skyline, is now 50 years old. Discoloration on the stainless steel exterior has building doctors climbing 630 feet up the arch to examine the cause of some of those mysterious stains. Here's a look. Well, we are, we're building doctors, I mean, we're, what we're doing is, is we're doing a very careful uh, diagnosis of the building. But there is no other building quite like it. St. Louis's Gateway Arch, officially the Jefferson National Expansion Memorial, is now 50 years old. An extensive interior inspection determined it is structurally sound. But outside, well, years ago, people began to notice that the shiny stainless steel surface was well, stained here and there. And the National Park Service decided it needed to know, is that just dirt or is it damage? For this part of the job, the firm of Wiss Janney Elsner Associates brought members of their appropriately named Difficult Access Team. Our safety manager has referred to this project as Mount Everest. This is the same company that inspected the stones and mortar on the Washington Monument after damage from an earthquake. But the arch is taller and it's curved. On the top side, they were able to rappel up and down and inspect all the welds. But it was the underside that presented the real challenge and the most interesting and worrisome stains. The guy being lowered down and attaching himself with suction cups is Dave Meggerly. I was the one that everybody saw right here at station 35, where we stopped and took some samples. Uh, we took some silicone samples that gave us the texture of the stainless steel that everyone was concerned about. There was some staining there that they wanted to test uh, with some cleaning methods. A lot of what he tried were just common household pads and cleaners. But in different places, they used gunshot residue tape to pick up the dirt and the particulates for examination under an electron microscope and laboratory analysis. The final report would not come out for six months. So when we're looking at construction materials of any type, they all corrode, just as our bodies corrode. It's called aging. There was a lot of interest in this by architects, engineers, and historic preservationists. And the news for the Gateway Arch was good. The surface discoloration is, is superficial. It will have no effect. It's all from industrial pollutants. I think I made it. In other words, the arch is dirty and discolored, but not uniformly. When it rains, the top side gets a good washing, but on the underside, the dirt collects on the welds and any other scratches and imperfections. When the arch was nearing completion, a metal bridge or strut was used to keep the two legs apart, and there are now stains where it was attached. So these are the three places where the strut grabbed the, I believe this is the south leg. And as for those stripes, the report says that during production, the polishing of the metal plates left very subtle scratches. And where they overlap, that's where the discoloration has emerged. So the question was, will the arch be cleaned? The National Park Service says for right now, no. Too complicated, too expensive. Uh, again, I think we're open in the long term uh, thinking to cleaning because who knows? There may be a way someday, but uh, um, right I now, guess we, we need to, to think about how that could even be done. You know, this this uh, this rope access uh, that was used to get to the exterior is is perfect for for doing that investigatory work. But to actually be able to to have work platforms that people can can work from to actually clean, that's that's something that we don't know how it would be done. This was by far the most technically challenging job I've ever done. You don't mind if they don't ask you to clean it then? No, I've got some ideas on how to clean it, but it would be a daunting task to clean it. 